Hey guys, welcome to another lecture and today we will be discussing something about diagnostic criteria of hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis, HLH. So as you all know uh, that HLH is a defect in the, you know, the phagocytic pathway. Usually there is abnormality of natural killer cells. There is abnormality with associated diseases. Uh, so usually we have primary HLH, primary HLH and secondary HLH. So in primary HLH, there are defects of the immune pathway and they might be associated with these syndromes like Hermansky, Pudlak or Griselli syndromes or Chediac Higashi. All the syndromes are, you know, associated with primary HLH and there are multiple defects associated with primary HLH. Secondary HLH can occur with any autoimmune disease, any autoimmune disease or infectious disease or infectious disease. So autoimmune disease is something like, uh, uh, you know, the uh, be it systemic onset juvenile or, uh, idiopathic arthritis or Jogren or any other disease. And infectious disease, we have commonly seen HLH with dengue, malaria, even with patients with leptospirosis. So any infectious disease can cause secondary HLH. And the important thing you know, need to know, secondary HLH is also known as macrophage activation syndrome. MAS is the second name of secondary HLH. Now, diagnostic criteria for both of them is different. So, diagnostic criteria for primary HLH is 5 out of 8 defects if they are present. So, first one is fever, high grade, continuous, high grade, continuous, not relieved usually on medication. Second is splenomegaly, splenomegaly, hepatomegaly may or may not occur with hepato, but spleno is more important, okay. The third one is cytopenia. So, cytopenia should be there in more than or equal to two cell lines, be it anemia, be it leukopenia or be it thrombocytopenia. So, at least two cell lines should be affected to be told as cytopenia for diagnostic criteria. Fourth is hypertriglyceridemia more than 265 milligram per deciliter, more than 265 milligram per deciliter or Hypofibrogenemia, hypofibrogenemia, that is less than 150 milligram per deciliter. Fifth criteria is uh, increase in ferritin, though ferritin is the most constant uh, thing over here and usually ferritin rise is always and always present with patients with HLH. So ferritin more than 500 nanogram per ml. Though we know that it is acute phase reactant, so it might also increase with other abnormalities and it might also be associated with iron deficiency anemia. Sixth criteria is soluble CD25. Soluble CD25 levels are more than 2400 unit per ml. Okay, So the levels of CD25 are increased or Present of hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis in either bone marrow, spleen or liver. You have seen the presence on, uh, of HLH in bone marrow or spleen or in liver or even in uh, lympho, uh, lymph nodes. Okay, And the eighth criteria is absent or extremely decreased natural killer activity. The levels of natural killer cells is extremely low. So, if 5 out of 8 criteria are fulfilled, then you have to go for the treatment. Okay. Treatment drug of choice for primary HLH is Dexona. Tapering dose of Dexona and plus or minus you might require IV, IG. Now, once this has been talked about, we will discuss about secondary HLH. So, secondary HLH associated with Systemic onset GIA has an entirely different diagnostic criteria that you need to remember. It is a different criteria, a more simpler criteria. You can diagnose MAS associated with SGIA uh, in printo classification. So, a febrile child with SGIA, febrile child with SGIA 
plus presence of serum ferritin like serum ferritin is a mandatory criteria serum ferritin more than or equal to 685 nanogram per ml if it is present then you can suspect the presence of hlh so for that uh, more than or equal to two out of four of the following criteria should be there so platelets Thrombocytopenia less than 1,80,000 or AST. AST is there over here. AST more than 48 IU per liter or triglycerides more than 156 or fibrinogen less than 360. Okay. So, two out of this four in a known case of SGIA with elevated ferritin in a febrile child has a different separate criteria of this thing. Always remember HLH will have, HLH always be primary, secondary will always have low ESR. It is one of the only condition with low ESR autoimmunity. So this you need to remember. And treatment of choice of secondary HLH is usually IV methyl prednisolone. Uh, the studies have shown that IV methyl prednisolone is better than dexona, but you can, you can interchange it safely. That's all for today, guys. I hope you like the video. And if you like my pattern of teaching, please make sure you check out my app. You check out my website. All the links are in description below. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you in the next one.